Come on, Blitzy. It's a sad day and everything must come to an end. Whoa! Holy crap! About got attacked by a hornet! <laughs> what am I pointing at? The glare feed line disconnected. 17 meter scab radiator disconnected. 17 meter scab radiator Bye bye. Michigan cacti. Man, look at this crap. I had a little drawing here to write the dimensions on. And a shopping list and uh, Linux. It, it notes. Note, please note that I don't work from a script and uh, <laughs> that we need this. And, um,. That. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. The feed line is quality. The post is concreted in. The cacti is garbage. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I wondered if these hose clamps, um, well, no, they're conduit clamps, electrical conduit clamps. I wondered if they'd be adequate, if they would hold the cacti from dropping. Um, I threw a hose clamp on just to prevent that, but they worked uh, fantastic. Watch out, people. This cacti is going down. Which way do we want to drop them? It's like uh, cutting down a tree, man. Yeah, I think I'll pause you and do this with two hands. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bend those clamps out and lay them down that way. Okay, hang on. Really, Jim? Making a video here, man. <laughs> I love it when people bitch about outdoor noises. Then don't go outdoors and shoot video, man. I'm glad I laid the cacti down because. Uh, those three lower um, wire supports, I had them screwed to the post. I forgot that. They weren't attached to the aluminum tube. Um, I'm going to redo this thing, um, specifically the lower brackets. I'm going to attach them to the tube so that you can just unmount, unbolt it, unscrew it, and take it away. Now, everything's as it should be to measure. You may notice the use of screwdriver pins and ball and ball and hex key wrenches to pin the brackets in place. And of course, old glory. I better clean the dirt off the tools after I'm done to maintain peace in the house, lest Kyle get unhappy. Let me measure this thing, then we'll go in the garage and I'll show you what we got. Well, that's discouraging. Twice now, I've made a video showing the dimensions. The last one I thought was fine, went to edit the thing, and uh, it's turned 90 degrees again. And one segment was smeared, diagonally, a smear. Good job, Samsung. Hang on, man. Now I'm in a bad mood. And you know, man, don't get me wrong. There are those on YouTube who make a smear vid. <laughs> smear videos. Ah, uh, yeah. Boy, I was going to say, let me pause you. I don't think I will. 
take three. <laughs> oh, this phone sucks ass, man. It truly sucks ass. <laughs> See, now my words are getting foul. Um, for the 17 meter element, you saw me kick it down in the video. And so, I assume you did. <laughs> A, if you watched. <laughs> and B, um, if that wasn't in the, in the part that got smeared. Who knows, man. 17 meter element. I didn't uh, have a chance to measure the bottom component because I kicked it down first <laughs> uh, for entertainment value only. Uh, the total length though comes out to be 155 inches. It looks like a foot symbol there, but it's two lines, 155 inches. Um, in a minute, when I babble on long enough about this, this say uh, engineering envelope, or as some say envelope, we'll uh, I'll show you another one showing the total length of each for each band, the my actual length and the calculated length. Okay, the vertical started out as a 20 meter vertical made out of aluminum scrap tubing scraps. Anything I could get to fit together, I did. <laughs> and I don't know the original dimensions, who knows, because it's grown into the Michigan cacti. And as I've added each wire element to it, I've done a little retuning, retuning and retweaking, and you know. And this was the dimension, so that it end, ended up being. In a second, I'll tip you down to show you the size of the, the, <laughs> the size of the bottom part, okay? But um, the 15 meter band, the vertical wire, the vertical component of the wire is 130 inches. On the 10 meter band, you can barely see that, right? On the 10 meter band, it's 86 and 3 quarter inches. <laughs> you may notice the vertical fold in the engineering envelope that being because uh, I kept wanting somebody crumpled up my uh, notes and threw it away and uh, they folded it up and uh, in horizontal folds and I kept playing with it and playing with it and it kept wanting to take a bow and fold over forward and uh, <laughs> yeah it's pretty dark but hopefully you can see maybe I can get some light on the subject um, <laughs> So the six meter band, the vertical part of the wire is 43 and three quarter inches. Uh, I think I already mentioned the 20 meter one is 192 inches, okay. And I'll tip you down a little bit farther here. And down here I've written the length of the horizontal part at the bottom, which I've highlighted in yellow, right? And so there you go. 15 meters is 4 and 3 eighths, 10 meters, 10 and a half inches, 6 meters, 10 and 10 inches. I just winged it. I grabbed a piece of junk plastic to use as a spacer and I just drilled some happy holes and <laughs> I was just playing around. I was just playing around with this thing, man. This was before I'd ever heard of the DX Commander. They're the same in principle, uh, you know. Um, one moment. And now that we're talking about the DX Commander, what's my opinion? Which one works better? Which, let me rephrase that, which is the better antenna? Well, the Michigan Cacti, of course. It's free. It's made out of garbage. <laughs> and so... I was surprised today to see that the actual length of these, this is the overall length of these wires, okay? The vertical part and the little horizontal part at the base. This is the overall length. In green is the calculated length. Look how far different they are. That's quite a difference on six meters, especially because uh, at that frequency, small changes uh, are very meaningful. On the ten meter band, now that's quite a bit closer to what I'd ex or what the 
I shouldn't say what I expect. I expected nothing. It is what it is. And it works phenomenally, and uh, the dimensions are what they are to provide an uh, ex excellent match, which I do have. And, uh, or I had until I tore it down, right? On the 15-meter band, um, again, about three inches difference between calculated and actual. Um, as you go lower in frequency, three inches becomes less meaningful. On the 80 meter band, it's almost meaningless. <laughs> um, 20 meter band is drastically different than what you uh, calculate. 17 meter band, though, oddly, um, almost exactly what the formula suggests. And for the re for the calculated frequency, I use uh, what you might expect. You know, 50.1. 28.3, 21.3, and obviously 18.1 megahertz. So, uh, yeah, I hope to God this video isn't smeared <laughs> or turned 90 degrees. Let's find out. Ah, yes, it worked that time. You know what, man? Just smartphone might be a piece of crap that's really old but you know what man my friends have a message <laughs>